Hey guys, this is Delta from Team Carrot Cake. It's your boy Blue over here. And uh, we have the third video in our Big Five Rebellion series. I'm Gansley, and uh, I don't think this 12 year old boy is doing a very good job leading us. I think he is a little stuck up prick. Echo cry about it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do more than cry about it. I'm gonna kick your ass. High roll two die. Sure. Yeah, three. One. I win. So now we need to roll each other's die. <sighs> I got a 1. What's oh, 9? 12, yeah, 13. <laughs> Which means I'm going first. I'll give you a lesson in resource management. <laughs> By setting one monster face down and ending next turn. Wow. I'm like points 8,000, 8,000, of course. So I'm cut around the mage and have him attack your face down monster. My sinister serpent. Ah. My turn? Yep. Draw. Now my sinister serpent will return to my hand. What kind of sorcery is this? I'll set one face down and end. You'll see that winning in anything comes down to having the most resources. I'll summon Odohime. Which is switch his position? Yep. Skill angle. It'll let me draw a card. Chiron will attack. And I take 900. Mm -hmm. Dropping me to 7100. And Orohime will attack. And I take 0. And then I end. And I'll draw. First up, I'll activate Umi. Then I will set one card face down and end my turn. Um. I wonder what's coming next. Chiron's effect? Sure. This card is spelled to destroy Umi. And then Orohime. Is that? There he is. 15. Oh! Dropping me to 5600. And I end. Draw. Now my sister serpent returns to my hand. You yes. said it again? I, hope I so. may have less life points, but you'll see that the most resources always wins in the end. your turn. You're gonna make a move, Noah? I'm thinking. Or are you prepared to accept that you can't handle an engine that continuously and perpetually provides resources? Blah blah blah, whatever else Gansley said. I can't do a Gansley voice, guys, sorry. I just don't remember what he sounds like. But, uh, I'm doing the best I can to sound like, uh, a capitalist. I'll summon another Chiron the Mage. Sure. Effect. On my spell. Trap. Yep. I activate Offerings of the Doom, destroying your Chiron the Mage. Attack base down. Sinister Serpent. My end. I skip my draw phase. Sinister Serpent returns my hand. And I set a monster again. Your turn. Change of heart. Unsaid monster. Oh, you know, it's his turn. It'll return to me at the end of the turn, though. Unless you tribute it. Oh my god. I'll tribute them both. Some Yamada Dragon. Ouch. An attack for 2600. Well, first I'll set a card. Then I'll attack for 2600. Oh no! And I draw to play five cards in my hand, so I have to draw two cards now. You may have the bigger monster so far, but soon my resources will overtake you. Well, I'll end my turn, and my dragon returns to my hand. I'll draw, and Sinister Serpent returns to mine. Then I'll activate Graceful Charity in an attempt to gain further advantage. Perfect. 
I'll discard these two. And you know my Sinister Serpent will just come back to my hand. I'll activate a Legendary Ocean. And that lets me summon my Deep Sea Warrior to the field. And attack you for 1600, because he's unaffected by magic cards. <laughs> I assume you take it, Noah? Yeah. Then I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. You may gain resources with your Yamato Dragon, but it's nothing compared to the advantage I can accrue. Now, also, my save resource. I have to attack your Deep Sea Warrior. You'll see that my deck is made to stop all of your attacks. Magic Cylinder. Oh, no! Now, you take the 1900. But you need 4500. This is how he made up for his deck master ability, because there's nothing that really does you tribute two monsters to just make your opponent's monster attack them. So this was pretty close. Well, end my turn there. Letting me draw. And Sinister Serpent returns my hand. Keeping my resources never ending. Sixteen hundred attack. I'll summon Spawn Alligator. My alligator will attack your Saber Saurus. You take five hundred, dropping you just four thousand, and another sixteen hundred on my Deep Sea Warrior, dropping you to twenty four hundred. You'll see that my resources are too much for you to handle. Point card face down. What are life points? You're at 2400. To your. 3000. I'll show you. Now I'll activate my Shinado's Arc. What does that card do? It lets me discard, two mon lets me discard monsters like my Yamana Dragon and this giant soldier of stone. Special summon Shinado. You're two losing an awful lot of resources there. My Shinado's attack makes up for more than that. Now attack and destroy his deep sea warrior. I can't take this attack. Negate attack! The other way we made up for Zek Master's ability of stopping attacks. Well then I end my turn. I draw. I only have 3,000. And my Shinano has 3,300 attacks. This isn't looking good for me. And even if you put your monsters in defense position, you'll still lose life points. Oh. There must be something I can do. I have the most resources. I'll switch Spawn Alligator and Deep Sea Warrior to defense position and play one face down card. Your turn, Noah. Now, so my Oda Hime and switch your deep sea warrior oh. into attack mode. Shinado is straight. I'll take 1700. Oh, that leaves me with just 1300. And I, am my I need to find some way around his Shinado. Offerings to the Doom. Oh no! And you're at only 2400 life points. What? Alligator, finish this duel. No! How could I lose? I had a stronger monster. Resources always win out, just like I said, Noah. Anyway, guys, pretty, uh, <laughs> that bluff premature burial. I was hoping you would think it was a magic cylinder, not attack. But, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty good game. Guys, we're gonna bring you character deck stuff. I know we put up a bunch of uh, competitive stuff in our 200 mm -hmm. subscribers special lately. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying everything we're doing. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Like, comment, and subscribe, and fill out the form to help us know what we can do to make our content better. Deuces.